Hey guys, so we're back today. And uh, it's a little cooler outside than it was yesterday, but we're going to go ahead and get the rest of this wiring harness off of here so that way we can uh, get prepared to not only build the transmission cross member and hopefully not catch anything on fire. It's the main reason why I cleared all the leaves out. And uh, also get ready to uh, wire in the Excel ECU. So uh, let's get started. Two out of three of my beautiful little girls over here playing in a hammock. And uh, yeah, if they make any noise, they're probably just arguing over uh, which is better. Friggin' piston or rotary or, you know, something like that. Go ahead and get this wiring undone right here. This is something I did just kind of to get everything to work together. So, there's nothing else. I already unplugged that. Uh, really all we've got on this side is the injector and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Let's get these vacuums out of our way. If we can. Sorry about this video being so shaky. Hopefully sometime soon I'll get a, uh, a bipod or something and be able to uh, just mount, the, mount my camera somewhere. Ah, come out here. <laughs> did do a little bit last night without any video but not much I kind of wish I'd have got that but the lighting wasn't too good Let's see if we can get this harness so out from the fuel lines which later on I will be relocating because I realized that they uh, they only sit about an inch from the driver's side header which uh could be a really bad deal. I do have some heat protection stuff on there to keep the fuel line from getting too hot, but I don't want to put my trust solely in there. Solely in that. Now let's see if we can get this whole passenger side undone. Now you might be wondering. Why my max airflow, the wires look different on it. It's because I made my own little wiring harness for it. I don't know if you can see that. I just used uh, some little wire splicers and cut the end off, crimped it down a little bit, and crimped it onto the wire and then slid it onto the connector that it goes to. Let's go ahead and get this uh, crank position sensor unplugged. If I can get it unplugged, it may prove to be difficult. I think I found a clip for it. Yep, there it is. Let's see if we can't get this wire out from in between here. that goes into the car. I went back to uh, my garage to see if I could find my wire cutters and remembered they're in my car and these two got out of the hammock and followed me. <laughs> see if instead of snipping all these if I can just get this connector right here. Split it maybe save some of the wires just in case I need them later. Oh, eh, whatever. these uh, all these grounds get that out of here. 
quick. We're going to have to cut all of them. We have to cut all the wires. <laughs> Some place to sit. Since it's already cut off the wires, if you can see that. And I'm not going to be able to go through that hole. So, what we're going to do, if I can get the focus, I'm going to just feel through that hole. Start with the smaller two. You can see that. That's a smaller two or three. And maybe we'll cram that massive one back in there. So now I got my flashlight on. Let's see. There's the main power for the Excel ECU, all I gotta do is turn everything out of the car. <laughs> 